Hey, Disney fans. So as you all are very well aware, Saks dropped a bomb on us this week and just said, hey guys, here's our limited edition dolls for this year. Have fun. Those of course being Elsa and Anna from the new Frozen 2 movie. No warning, only a few people had seen the photos ahead of time. Otherwise, we all got the photos when they released online. Luckily, I was able to grab them. So far, I've only received Anna. So we're gonna go ahead and take a look at her. She's absolutely stunning, I promise. But this box, oh, is glorious. So stay tuned. I cannot wait to show you this beautiful new limited edition Saks exclusive Disney doll from Frozen 2. Okay guys, so this box is massive. If you guys have platinum sets or the previous Snow White or um, Cinderella from Sex with Avenue, you know how big these boxes are. So I'm gonna do my absolute best to get that in within frame. It is so huge. <laughs> so I am not gonna lie. At first, I was not sold on these boxes. I thought they looked weird. I didn't like the inside. Um, now that I have it in my hands, I am good with it. I think it's beautiful. I love the design idea behind it. I love this like foil silver tree and grass outline they've got going on here. Um, I think we're gonna see a lot of that type of design in the movie from what we've seen in the preview. So I'm really excited. And of course they stuck with the gorgeous snowflake because of course it's frozen. So they gotta keep that little part in here. You can see here it does say Disney Frozen 2, the Anna Collector Doll Limited Edition of 1000. Coming down, it does say designed exclusively for Saks Fifth Avenue. I love this design, guys. It's so cool. You can see here, these are little indents. That's where the magnets are that keep this shut. So that's kind of nice. And of course it does say six plus. And obviously since this was only made for Saks Fifth Avenue, there is no Disney Store logo up in the other corner like there normally is. So I'm gonna turn this now and you can see we do have more of that gold foil. These fold back just like the new platinum boxes that we got from the Disney store. And then on the back here, we have more of the trees. Saks Fifth Avenue, the Anna Collector doll. Since these are exclusive to the USA, it is only printed in English. So if you'd like to pause and read it there, you can. It does talk a little bit about the doll. And then of course it says certificate of authenticity and display stand is included. And the price tag does show it was $395. So they have continued to maintain that price, which I really wish they would bring it down a little bit, but it is Saks Fifth Avenue and they're gonna do as they please because they can. So there is the box. What we're gonna do now is I'm gonna try and get this open and get it so the doors stay open. So when you open it up, of course there's that geometric opening there. And on each side is this really cool um, snowflake star type design. So it's really, really nice. It's got that same silver foil. You can see down there it does say Anna. And then coming over here, you can see it does have that same snowflake design there. And then we have our beautiful Anna on display, but on top, it does say Disney Frozen 2. So super excited. Let's go ahead now, get this plastic off so we can get a really good look at this gorgeous doll. Okay, so I know there was a lot going around of how upset people were with how expensive these were considering there wasn't a lot of detail and they didn't look to be up to par with the other Saks dolls that have been released. I am here to dispel all of that. These dolls are amazing. They're worth every penny. Um, they are just as detailed, just in a different way. They are limited of only a thousand instead of 2,500 like Cinderella. So that right there drives the price up. Um, and they are just, they're absolutely stunning. So that being said, we're going to take a look at the back of the box first. So we haven't really seen much of the Great Hall in Frozen 1. So I'm hoping since this put this as the background, we see more of it in Frozen 2. So this must be a scene where both her and Elsa are wearing these outfits in this area of the castle because they both have the exact same background. So you can see there's some banners, um, some windows, the um, cathedral ceilings, and then of course a really, really big um, chandelier there and uh, some yeah I just it's really really cool like there's a lot of detail in the backgrounds of these box so very 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 nice coming into Anna herself of course she has the most beautiful face I think they really really did a fantastic job with the new face molds for Anna and Elsa they are I think personally some of the best face molds we've had yet 
um, for them. I think they're a little bit more spot on than some of the past ones. And I know a lot of people are going to get angry with that because everyone thinks that the first ones are the best ones, but hey, that's my opinion. So have a magical day to those of you who disagree. And so like all limited edition dolls, Anna does have long, luxurious rooted eyelashes. She has a beautiful hairstyle of rooted hair that has a braid and a bun that's braided in the back. She also has this metallic, and it is metal. I did check that. It is metal. A little like wheatgrass um, hair clip there that is kind of tucked into her hairstyle. One thing I do think is a little weird is that the hairline, we'll get up in here, starts way back up on the back of the head, just like the new classic dolls, which I think is kind of strange, but it is what it is. So she does have her bangs there going off to both sides. A new um, type of earring, which you're now seeing on the Masquerade dolls, is this just little teeny tiny crystal stud. So Anna does have these beautiful little crystal studs in her ears, simple and elegant. She has bright blue eyes that are painted very, very well with little highlights and everything. I love her little freckles across her nose and cheeks. And she has a pale pink um, lipstick on there. My camera's picking up a little darker than it actually is. Then of course, coming down, she has a metal necklace that has two little enameled leaves and then a little crystal in the middle and then a gold chain. She has a little, um, I think they call it a bolero jacket is what these types are considered where they're really, really short. And I love the fabric that they used for this. I think it's really quite nice. It's very soft, but they've got um, a kind of a cream trim that's embroidered there. And then there's these little uh, like metallic silverish, greenish, goldish, I can't quite tell, um, flowers with little purple crystals that go up along. Along her collar, there are also purple crystals. And then on her shoulder, there is also again that same, it's like a green metallic um, embroidery. And then there's little purple crystals coming down her sleeve. And then on her cuff, she has a satin material that has a scalloped edge. And then right there, you can see the little purple crystal buttons. Coming over, of course, we can see the same design on this side of the, or the jacket. And then the inside is this really pretty fall colored, like ruddy orange, brown, red. It's, I'm not quite sure what color it is, but it's absolutely gorgeous. So I really do like that little jacket. And then coming to the top part of her dress, she does have a sweetheart neckline with gold embroidery, also has purple embroidery. So we have two different colors of embroidery, very unusual. Usually we only get one color of embroidery. So we do have two. We have gold jewels coming along here. And then we have two purplish pink jewels right there. Let me try and get that in focus for you so you can see better. There we go. Purplish pink jewels there. And then down here we have the same color of magenta jewels. She has a very beautiful purple belt um, that has more gold embroidery and then one big gold jewel right here in the middle. And then that belt does have two cascading tails that come down and then they have um, that same gold embroidered pattern along with the um, gold jewels on them. So very, 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 very nice embroidery work there. Very clean, very crisp. Coming down to her skirt that does have a bunch of pleats in it and I love that it's not like even i love that it goes up a little bit so that's obviously quite a quite a bit of detail right there i think that's really nice how it's completely pleated and it's it's just i really 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 like this one a lot there are multiple different colors of crystals in her skirt so that's another reason why i think that this was a little bit more detailed than normal because usually we get one maybe two colors of crystals this one has three so loving that we've got the magenta we've got the purple We've got the gold, and then we've got this brown color here. And then there's like a gold one here too, I think is what that one is. That looks to be the same gold one there. But we've got that same gold embroidery in like a wheatgrass form. And then we've got little purple elongated triangles. And then this muted mauve crystal there at the top. So many different colors of crystals going on here. I think that it is absolutely stunning. Um, I do believe it goes, yep, all the way around. So this embroidery and these crystals go all the way around the whole dress. Um, it's not just the front, so they definitely didn't scrimp on that. It is one fully detailed gown and it is very large. It fills the box more so than Elsa's, I do believe. So um, what they did here is they do have a piece of plastic that holds the skirt up and out. Uh, so I think if you were to debox, the skirt would probably lose some of its volume.
She is elevated just a fuzz because this part right here is a stand. This part is what the stand is standing on. Elsa does have on some little cream heels. You can see there the heel back there. They do have that same little gold emblem with the purple triangle as her dress does. And then she does have um, the lining is that really pretty like brown orange color. And then she has the uh, crinoline that's the exact same. And I believe there's probably tissue paper up in there just to kind of help give it more body. But there is her stand, of course. So that is the beautiful new Anna from Saks Fifth Avenue. And also, of course, from the brand new Frozen 2 movie coming out soon here on November 2nd, 22nd. They did make only 1,000. So here is her certificate of authenticity. And I got number 308. All right, guys. Well, I hope you enjoyed my review of this brand new Frozen 2 Saks Fifth Avenue Disney collaboration limited edition doll. She is absolutely gorgeous. Anna is probably my favorite of the two. Um, once I get Elsa, of course, I'll make a decision at that point. But right now, and pretty much with all of them, Anna is always my favorite. Um, she just, there's just something about her. So again, I hope you enjoyed. If you got this one, let me know. Leave some comments down below your thoughts. Um, hopefully my review is able to change people's minds who think that these aren't worth it. Um, they really are, and I am so thrilled to have gotten them. Um, I just, I can't wait for Elsa to come now. I'm really excited about that one. So definitely, definitely stay tuned, guys. It is coming, I promise. All right, well, again, like I said, I hope you enjoyed. Leave some comments down below. Thumbs up if you did enjoy it. Um, follow me out on Instagram. It's DisneyDad underscore 83. I post a lot of quick videos and photos out there just about every day or not every other day. Um, but we do have a lot of fun out there as well. I've gotten to know a lot of people through uh, YouTube and Instagram. It has been an absolute blast meeting most of you and, and chatting with a lot of you and, and just sharing our love of Disney together. So definitely go take a peek out there as well. All right, guys. Well, again, I thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you're all having a very magical day and we will see you real soon.